Hi guys, how's it going? Um, on the last video I showed you, or one of the, anyway, I've showed you all how to make a bigger flower, um, and I've showed you how to make a hatchet, and I've shown you how to make a sword, so I thought that I would show you how to make a flower that you can put on your wrist. Um, a lot of, you know, girls like that, um, guys, I feel like that too, you know, whatever. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make a, just a small flower to put on your wrist. This one used to be really hard for me to do because all of the twists are very concentrated, which means they're all very close together. So if you are struggling with this one, uh, just practice, 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 practice. There is no magic. There is no secret way to do it. Um, I Most of the balloons that I make, I don't make them the way that I see in videos, which is why these videos might seem different than what you've seen other places. But... I found ways that work for me. I don't use the technical terms. I don't, you know, do exactly what other people who do this for a living do just because I found an easier way to do it. But if you need help, ask questions in the comments. I will find this video on Facebook and I will help you. So grab a balloon. This is again a flower bracelet. Okay. Grab um, just any balloon. I'm going to use a white one for the petals this time. And the first thing that we're going to do again is the petals. Like the last time, that's what we did. So this one you're going to want to blow up till you have about two hands width of air at the end. So let me, let me just show you what I mean. For this one, you need a lot of wiggle room because you're doing a lot of twists with one balloon. So that's a lot of times when there's a bigger, I guess they call this like a tail, when there's a bigger tail left, you're gonna twist the balloon a lot more because the air has to have some place to go. So I would leave about a hand and a half, okay? I, I know I said two, but I'd do about a hand and a half. And then you're gonna wanna tie it off. Okay, this is the worst part. I do not like tying balloons. So. After you have this, okay, it doesn't really matter. People straighten them out, it doesn't matter. But you can, if you wanna squeeze a little bit of the air so you have a little bit of wiggle room, you want this to be really soft, okay? And the way that you get balloons to be soft is just by squeezing them. This is, uh, they're made of latex and you want them to be softer so that the twists aren't so tight because that's why they pop is that the latex gets super tight and it can't hold the air so it pops. So if your balloon is really soft, you'll be able to twist more and it won't be as apt to pop. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a bunch of petals. You, they can be the same size, it looks better if they are. I like to use three fingers width, okay, when I'm measuring. So I'm gonna measure about three fingers and then I'm gonna bend it. Sorry, I'm gonna bend it, okay? And I'm gonna take the knot and I'm gonna twist it where that, where it's bent over like that. Okay, so just grab and twist. And again, you wanna lock the knot, that's what that's called. You wanna shove this through to the other side. Okay, so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so then you have one petal. You wanna do this at least four times. A three petal flower looks really weird. I can do them, I've done them up to six. Uh, four, five, and six look good. Uh, seven is too much, three is too little. So you wanna just measure them about the same. So the way you do that is just kind of by like, I'll show you what I'm seeing. Okay, you wanna measure it just so it kind of matches the other petal, okay? And then you wanna twist this part, okay, where you've made the other petal, you wanna twist there. Into, the, into where that petal meets, okay? So now you have two, and you wanna do it again, okay? This is why you ha need to leave so much air is because we're doing a lot of twists. So we're about, you know, halfway there. So then I'm gonna do it again. And you don't have to measure it up there, you can do three fingers, okay? Again, three fingers, fold it over, find where it meets, twist it, okay? And you wanna twist, when you're twisting, anything when you're twisting bubbles or your these are called um you know you think I would know I don't know what these are called there's a name for them um but when you're twisting them you want to twist them about three to four times like an entire rotation just so it locks itself in there so that way if you're like swinging it around or it gets hit it doesn't come apart um so do it I would do it again okay and if you're noticing that this is getting tight just squeeze it okay because that's all it's wanting and that's why you left all that space there Okay, three more fingers, fold it down. This is kind of hard to show because it's getting bigger. Okay, so you wanna twist that in. Okay, so I've got about four. I'm gonna do one more. 
Okay. So three fingers, double down. You can set it. And you'll notice. This is just a bunch of like random twists. It doesn't look like anything. Now, I'll give you kind of like a little side balloon that you can do. If you're done and you don't want to make it a wrist one. Okay. Ta-da! It's a flower. There's no middle part. You could add that. But you could just hand that to somebody and just say that it's a flower. If you wanted to add a middle part, you could blow up a little teeny tiny piece of a balloon and put it in the middle. Just like twist it in. And you could say that this is a flower. But we're not done. We're making a flower to go on your wrist. So you're going to want to pop this off. And I showed you how to do that with the hatchet earlier, but I'm gonna just push down this way, push back that way, and push down with my finger really hard and fast. Okay, I know it's loud, I'm sorry. Take the excess, remember, don't let go, and twist that into the flower itself. And this does two things. One, it keeps your balloon from deflating. And two, it makes, um, it makes the petals tighter together. So then you just have this. This one's a little wonky, but you know, you get what you get. Then I'm gonna take another color, and this part's really easy. You just wanna blow it up like one pump. So like that, and let go. And we don't need all of this. I only need about two fingers worth. So we're gonna let the air out, okay? When I get about right there, I'm gonna tie it off. Okay. Then this is the middle of my balloon. I'm going to take it and I'm going to tie it into the middle of this. So the way that I do that is I take the knot side and I pull it down this way. I take the this side, I don't know what we call it, and pull it down this way. Flip it over. So I have it like this. And I'm going to tie these two together. I'm just tying a knot. I know it sounds really squeaky. Okay. I'm going to tie a knot there. Or you can just twist them around each other and just pull it like, like you're weaving in and out of the petals. Okay. And it will stay there. Okay. So then you just have a flower that has like string. Okay. The way to make it so it goes on their wrist is to take the end of this, end of this and twist it back into the petals. Take the end and just back into the petals. However you want to do it. I'm not, I don't even have to look at it. I'm just like weaving in and out of these petals. Okay. And notice that it's a little, after you've like messed around with it, it's going to be a little weird. Just adjust it. So you just want to make all the petals face the same direction. Okay. And do like the same distance around this and then you want to pull this part down here at the bottom and you're done okay and you want to take this and you can fold it open like that and put it on their wrist and you're done you have a wrist flower so okay see you guys later